See how gentle he is? He doesn't even touch my toes. Hey y'all, this is Anya Dekotos. Witam wszystkich bardzo serdecznie. Welcome back. So, we're doing a video together with my XP today. Um, for those of you who don't know, Expo is a golden doodle. He is almost five now and he is my service dog. I've done videos about him before. There's one of me grooming him and one of the things that he does for me. If you'd like to see that, then I will link it down below. To jest Expo, mój pies pomocniczy. I jeżeli chcielibyście zobaczyć więcej filmików na jego temat, to zrobiłam już dwa wcześniej, jeśli ich nie widzieliście to um, link będzie poniżej. So what are we doing today, XP? We are doing a yum box. Universal yums to jest pudełko miesięczne, w którym przechodzą różnego rodzaju smakołyki każdego miesiąca z innego kraju. Let's see what country we have this month. We have Germany. I am super excited. Poland is really close to Germany and I actually grew up on uh, some of the German yummy snacks. And of course we have the, I feel like Expo is the center of attention now because he just moved. Anyways, we have the little booklet that I'm going to keep on hand because it tells me all the info about every snack in the box. A więc zobaczmy co dobrego będzie w niemieckich przysmakach. As always, we also have the little sticker. First up, we have the pulled pork crisps. Treat yourself to a bag of juicy German barbecue. So these are a little strips. Didn't I pick a good video to film with Expo? I got you fam. These I definitely like. Giving those 10 out of 10. Next up, we have ketchup potato sticks. The German snack for everyone who loves fries. And that I do love indeed. And these are shaped like little fries, but they are hollow on the inside. They're good. I'll give them a 10 out of 10. <laughs> Expo, did you like that, buddy? Okay. Don't worry, I'm not gonna give him any chocolate. Next we have a bag of spring onion rings. It says, move over. Funyuns, Germany does it better. So they are like little onion rings. Mm -hmm. See how gentle he is? He doesn't even touch my toes. This box is off to an amazing start. Next up is the puffed rice and creamy milk chocolate bar. Sorry, I can't share that with you, Expo. This is what it looks like. I'm just going to take a little bite. Oh my goodness. Wow, that's a 10 out of 10. Next, we have strawberry rhubarb white chocolate bar. For those of you who have seen any of my previous unboxings of this box, y'all know that I love stuff like that. Do you see this? How many pieces it has inside? I am going to love this. Mmm. It smells so good. A 10 is not even enough to rate this. It's just not. Wow, that was good. Next up, we have coca dusted marzipan, marzipan, marzipan. You know what I mean? Balls. I don't like marzipan or whatever you call it, so I'm not gonna open it. Next up is a cookie dough milk chocolate bar. Every time Expo realizes that I'm not gonna share something with him, he just like puts his head down. He's like, forget about it. I'm just gonna take a nap here. I was trying to break a little piece off and it kind of got messed up. So the filling inside is soft, but is it good? It's okay, but I'll give it like a seven, to be honest with you. Next up, we have a cinnamon almond cream wafer. Toasty treat inspired by wintertime Berlin. So clearly it's a wafer and I'm just going to take a bite. I never had like a cinnamon wafer before, but it's actually pretty good. I don't feel like it's a 10, but an eight. Next up, we have cookies. These are sour cherry cookies. It's a soft and buttery with luscious German cherry. So this is what they look like. I actually really like the cookies. I'll give them a nine. Next up, we have this little thing. It's dark chocolate covered marzipan bar. 
So again, not going to try it. I just do not tolerate marzipan. And last but not least, we have the Yum Bag. First, we have the Cappuccino Milk Caramels. Um, I will take a bite out of this, but I'm pretty sure this is like a Polish Krówka. And just like on the Krówka, um, there's always a little piece of paper stuck to it at the end, so... They actually don't taste quite like a Krówka. <laughs> there's definitely a lot more coffee. Well, Krówkas are not. It's just caramel. It's got no coffee in it. This you can definitely taste the coffee, but overall, the shape, the look, the consistency, the wrapping, it's like a Polish Krówka. It's definitely pretty good though. So we had two of those, and then we have eight of those, except four are different than the other four. These are cola flavored, and these colorful ones are maracuya, if that's how you pronounce it. There's also grapefruit, another maracuya, and apple. And I really want to taste what this maracuya, maracuya or maracuja? Man, I have to really work on my pronunciations. But this will be the last candy that I try. It does say that they are chewy candies and four juicy German flavors. And they, they are sour fruit candies. Really like those. Mmm, they are quite sour. To już na tyle z próbowania z dzisiejszego pudełeczka. Z niemieckich przysmaków były bardzo, bardzo pyszne. Większość z nich dałam 10 na 10 punktów. Dwa z nich były z marcepanem, niestety nie lubię marcepanu, dlatego tych nie próbowałam, nie otwierałam, ale poza tym wszystko było przepyszne. Moja ulubiona była ta biała czekolada z rabarberem i struskawkami. Była pyszna i oczywiście nie mogę się doczekać na następny miesiąc. Ok, you guys, so that's it for this box. It was delicious. Definitely my favorite was the white chocolate with the strawberries and rhubarb. Um, absolutely loved it. And I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell to be notified every time I upload on Tuesdays and Fridays. And thank you so much for watching. Dziękuję za to, że oglądaliście i do zobaczenia następnym razem. Bye!